Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new weekly video on my channel. This video is gonna be a new episode on designing famous logos. In this episode, we're gonna do it with the IBM logo, which hasn't been changed in about 30 to 40 years, just like we did with the Sony logo last time. So if you wanna see that, stick around to the end to see how I do all of it. And I'll do my process from the beginning into some mock-ups and to the final actual design. So yeah, just stick around to the end to see how I do all of that. If you're new around here, I genuinely like to do design videos that can help young designers thrive in the freelancer market like myself and try to help people navigate the waters of freelancing and designing and graphic designing and all of that. So if you'd like to watch some of that and learn more about that, then do subscribe and like this video to see more videos just like this one. Okay, so let's get started with some basic research on the IBM logo. I don't really know a lot about it, so let's just go in and do a deep dive on the actual logo. I know that it was designed by Paul Rand, and so this is one of the most famous and most successful logos in the world and in the history of logos, but it hasn't been changed in a really long time. So I think it can be updated for new design trends and just make it a little bit more simplified and something that we can all relate with at a more modern level rather than what they actually currently have now, which is this currently, as you will see on your screen. So yeah, let's just dive right into it. So yeah, when you look up the IBM logo, I know that you get this, and this is kind of the most famous logo that they have, and these are all the iterations that they've done through the through the times. And currently they do have a, a more modern one. And so yeah, we're just gonna take what they currently have, which is the IBM with the stripes logo, but I think we're gonna make it a little bit more simplified. Even though even though I know that the, the, the lines are supposed to signify being dynamic and being fast and, and ever-changing. However, I do think that in the beginning they started out with 13 lines and now they're down to eight. And so I think as time progresses, we will now cut down a little bit more on the lines. And this is currently the logo that they do have and they changed it into 2018. But I don't think they did it well because it takes away from the original characteristics of the of the logo that we are, that we all actually know. I think even today, if you tell someone to point at an IBM logo, they wouldn't point at the 2018 version. So I think that says quite a bit about what they are actually doing and just that the, the new logo didn't really do that well, I think. So yeah, let me just do a little bit of research of what the actual font is. I'm pretty sure it'll be a custom font, obviously, but... And really what we're trying to do, I think it's not trying to make something completely different that people won't, won't recognize. And that's usually the case with logos. You don't really want to stray too far away from what they actually have unless the, I guess the original logo is a is an absolute disaster. But in our case, obviously it's not. So as I said, we're just gonna try to make something a little bit different and something that is just a little bit more streamlined and a little bit more up with the times. So yeah, let's just try to do that. Okay, so I've downloaded a pretty close comparison to the original font. Obviously I can't get the original font because it's a, it's a custom one and I'd have to pay quite a bit of money for it. So we're just gonna go with this imitation one, which is what I read was pretty close to it. So we're just gonna type in IBM and... Okay, cool. So let me get the actual logo itself so we can compare it. Actually, I don't think that's, that's, that's close at all. So I think what we're gonna do now is grab the 2018 version and we're just gonna do an image trace. Okay, so we're just gonna expand that and ungroup it twice. We're gonna delete the font that I downloaded just because I don't think it works too well, it's too far apart. So we're gonna grab the expanded version. And what I'm doing now is just trying to get a, a color that isn't white, so when we delete the background, you can actually see what we're doing here. Okay, so now, now that we have that, I am curious about whether if we do less lines, that does solve the issue. So maybe we can put them in between, in between the B is what I'm looking at right now. And it'll have to be above that. Okay, so let me see if that even works right now. Yeah, I think the lines are way too thick. So what I'm gonna do now is just grab a much finer one. And just sort of do that and now I see that the the points in the M are too are too thin so I think what we need to do here is redo these lines however keeping in mind what we're actually trying to do and maybe I think the secret sauce is gonna be making this a smidge a little bigger that way it matches this end and then yeah now we can just you know that is one way of doing it however 
I don't think anyone who's gonna watch this video is gonna be satisfied with that, which is fine. And so, <laughs> let's try to make it a bit more, a bit thicker. So what I'm doing now is I'm just grouping the, the actual lines because I think we are gonna roll with it, even though it's not the best thing in the world. However, we are gonna roll with it just because of time. So I think if we grab this and we make this into one, Okay, so now that we have that, I think if we put it right next to the old IBM logo, we see that what we did was basically take the, the original logo and we took the original logo and essentially made it a lot simpler. And while that might not be a good thing right now, you know, because these, these, these projects can go wrong. I think 10 minute logo compared to Paul Rand taking his sweet time, you know, I think. <laughs> I think maybe we, we did this one a bit a bit worse than the original, but let's see. I think I think if we take inspiration from the original logo of 2018, and no, I think we're gonna keep it with with the original lines. However, let me put it into some mockups to see if what we did actually looks good or not. So yeah, let me let me do that, and then I'll get back to you when I when I'm when I'm done with that. So right now I'm kind of comparing between the old models of the logo and the one that I did, which is essentially taking the theme where they just took what they had and made it more simple or simpler. And I think over time it goes from 1967 where they had 13 of these lines and the logo or the word is very legible, where it goes down to 1972 where I think in their eyes they're stripping it down to, to the bare minimum. But what I did <laughs> is I took it even further and I stripped it down even further into what we have now. And I think to make it work, we need to bring up and down the the endpoints of the of these lines just because visually it works here when they have the full line. However, it doesn't work if this is all the way down here and then it, it doesn't it doesn't match too well. So let me just do that really quick and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so for me that does make a lot more sense with the with the longer with the longer endpoints of each letters, I don't know exactly what they're called. However, it does make a lot more sense for me. So yeah, we're we're gonna roll with that, and I think we're gonna take this logo and yeah, let me, let, let me put it into some mockups. As I said, I haven't done that yet. So let me let me try putting it here. So if we look at if we look at it like this, it definitely is still legible, and you can tell that it still is the the IBM logo, which is I guess it is what we want without kind of changing it too much. Let me put it onto a onto something a bit bigger, like a, like a billboard or something, and we'll see how that looks. I'm trying to find a mock-up for the, the logo, but I don't know exactly what where I would put a, an IBM logo unless it was like a stock <laughs> or a server base or something. Because all these mock-ups on, on websites like Graphic Pair and things like that, they're all for, and you can see they're all for like stationery and boxes and stickers and stuff, so. Okay, so in the end, this is what we're left with, and I think it's an upgrade from what we used to have, which was all the all the lines. And I think what we did, what we is we just took the original logo and we made it a bit more simple with less lines. I know it is very similar, and you could say that nothing has changed from the old logo, which I mean that's totally fair, I guess. It's not a complete redesign, something totally crazy, because I think the original logo was genius already to begin with, but we just wanted to change it a little bit and making uh, making it a little bit more simple. What I did here was a mock-up with the original poster, one of the original posters from Paul Rand's era. And again, on the bottom right, we have the new logo, which might not be that different. However, I think it is an upgrade from what we used to have, which is this, with all the separate lines and the, the, the difference that, that less lines makes. I think for me, might not be that much, but again, it is just a step forward to making something, making something new and modern and, you know, just, getting with the times so yeah that's it for me for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you want to see any more logo redesigns then let me know i'll make sure to check out any comments that you guys have uh, let me know if you think i did a good job on this or not i'll leave a quick survey up it's totally fine if you guys think i did a horrible job because you know i wouldn't blame you but that's it for me for this video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you on the next video